So we are going to go ahead and show you how I got to that image. Um, I'm actually running a little test too because I am actually backing up a couple hard drives as well as exporting the whole entire edited photos which consists of approximately 500 edits. So let's see how good this iMac is and we'll see if there's any lag or any other issues. So as you can see this is the out of the camera image and a little bit of detail about this image. It was shot in front of the parking lot at the venue. So people would drive up, you know, they would park over here on the left or the right. And then this building over here is where the venue was for this Sweet 16. First thing I'll do is I'll just make sure that the image is sh nice and decently sharp. So let me zoom in on that. Okay, so we're at ISO 1000 at f1.8. It's, it's good. It's good. It's not something that I'd be concerned about, right? I just wanted to make sure that the exposure was good. So from that, I will bring the highlights down a little bit just because I don't want it to be too crazy. Um, believe it or not, there's not too much that needs to be done here. I mean, for the most part, this picture is pretty good already. Um, really, just little minor things that I can do. Of course, if you wanted to, you could certainly do a lot more uh, in terms of your taste. But for what I need to do, I'll just do a little bit of lens correction over here. My main concern is just... I'm not even that concerned about it, but being that it was shot on an 85, 1.8, there's a little bit of chromatic aberration, a little bit of fringing that that exists, and there is a little bit of a lag, uh, but there we go. We just enabled it, and for the most part, it's gone. Um, if I wanted to, you know, fine-tune fine, fine -tune a little bit more, I'll just go ahead and drag that over to the right, and then I added some luminance in the noise reduction, and now I'm just going to crop it to my taste. Uh, this is certainly something that as a matter of preference, but for what I like to do with this image, I feel like they want, they should be isolated by themselves, so I'll crop it so that they're in the middle. Um, I'll have this kind of being a little bit of rule of thirds, right, so it's not directly everything centered, so maybe even a little bit higher. And then from this point on, it's pretty much done. I mean, what I want to do now, as far as, you know, basic uh, adjustments, so now what, what I want to do is I want to decrease and darken the exposure of the car so that I don't see that. So what I'll do here is just kind of make a brush, turn the exposure down, and then just start brushing away. Pretty simple stuff over here. And again, I just want to make it so that it is not 100% gone per se, but enough so that I can't see it except for this area over here which we're going to take care of. All we have to do to, to, to darken that is just turn down the highlights and then just turn down the shadows a little bit more. And so for the most part this image could be done. Um, there we go. There's a little bit something here that I could pretty much get rid of. There we go. That worked. And now let's see what else that's it. I'm done. That's the image. Maybe just go ahead and crop it in a little bit more to your taste. But for the most part, all right, let's get back that brush. Done. So for the most part, we've isolated them. They're in the uh, center. And you know what I'll do is I'll create a new brush and maybe now I'll just kind of lower the opacity a little bit on the exposure just to kind of give them a little bit more of attention to them. And then there we go. Maybe even cut that down a little bit. I do want the glow to still shine through. So really it's just about a matter of taste. So. Um, here we are with the original and the edit. Very simple stuff. If you have any questions or if you find value in this or if you want to see future behind the scenes, I don't really do any of this stuff, but I think if you see value in it and if the community acknowledges it, I'll certainly do it. So thanks, folks, for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.